Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know, now you know, and happy Vlogmas Day 13. We're officially over halfway. We are just cruising along, but today is a very busy day, so we have no time to waste. It is currently 9, like 45, 9 43 in the morning, and I am about to go ahead to get my nails done. And you might be saying, Gabby, didn't you quite literally just get your nails done? Yeah, they're not even that grown out, but look at these three already. Both thumbs completely cracked off, this one completely gone. Both of these are already lifting. I'm like, guess I have to get them done again I was really not planning on it I was gonna wait to get them done closer to Christmas but as you can see by the title and everything I have a competition tomorrow coaching not competing but I can't look like this um yeah so we have a lot to do before then and I quite literally have to leave for the airport at like 3 a.m. tonight tomorrow whatever day that's considered so we are up Ready to get started. The nail salon opens at 10, so I'm trying to get there as soon as they open so then we can just cruise along with the rest of our day because I got a lot to do. I asked on Instagram for, like, I want winter-ish nails, but I want a very neutral color scheme. So my top choices were, I don't even know, I feel like it's the glare is really bad. I think this is the one I'm definitely going with. So like a sparkle with white outline. Um, another one of my favorites was like the champagne velvet look, but I think I might do glitter nails for New Year's. I don't really, I don't think I'll need them done again, but like that's what I wanted to do. I did like these ones too, more of like a white and gold look. This was, I think that was my second choice. Um, and then the last one was just like white, super wintry Christmas ones. But since I have to get them done, a little bit early I'm not super into like the snowflake Christmassy mood right now so I think the sparkle with the white is kind of cute and that way if I don't get my nails redone for New Year's they still work and that's always like my favorite is when I get nails done that are just kind of tips because as they grow out it is way less noticeable so you can wear them longer I why am I breaking out I'm not even about to start my period honestly I feel like probably just because I was sweating so much in the gym yesterday and I did not wash my face after, so probably. But at least it's happening now. Hopefully that'll go away before this weekend. Do not let me forget to do my eyebrows today. Oh, why do I always forget that? I should honestly just put a reminder in my phone. Anyway, let's go get our nails done. All right, we arrived, 10.07, pretty close to when they were opening. I just really hope I don't get the guy I get last time, even though I thought he was doing a great job throughout. But like none of my nails stayed on and that has not happened in the longest time so i don't get to pick i just walk in and i'm like hey who's free and they give them to me so stay tuned of all days where i'm like okay i got so much to do today i'm gonna go right when the nail salon opens so that way i can be done fast they take literally two hours these are not even that intricate compared to some of the nails i've done I was with this man that was like ready to go for it. He was starting to move fast. And then for some reason they switched me to the back row, which in this nail salon, the back row is all the like older ladies that come in, you know, like every other week and get the same shade of dark maroon that they've been getting for the last like 10 years. So they just do like normal polish in the back row. I knew I was set up for failure. She did good. I had to speak up a lot. Cause like, okay, well anyway, here's the nails. So they did turn out. I'm not in love with them. I do really like them. But at first, you know when you use glitter and it's just so scattered and there's like a sparkle every like inch? That's what they first look like. And I was like, can we please build them up a little bit more? And she just like took a really long time, but they, they look good. I like them. At least it took a long time and I left happy instead of like not speaking up and then just not liking them. But I saw this girl on TikTok I don't think I've ever related to something more. And she was like, I wish so badly I could just drop my hands off at the nail salon, go do stuff and just come back and pick them up because I absolutely love 
having my nails done. But I truly think, like, one of my least favorite things to do is sit there and get my nails done. Nails are done. They are bad already. I like them. They're wintery-ish. Christmas. They'll work. I'll probably get them redone for New Year's. Because I don't love them that much. But, it's okay. Um, next up on the list is Target. I need to get some travel things. I need to get some dog food for Cloud. And uh, whatever else we find. I think on the list is I need to get mascara. A new travel toothbrush. I should probably get travel toothpaste. I don't know if I have any. I think I do. But you could always use more. Um, dog food. I feel like I had one more thing. I think that's it. Let's go to Target. Got the dog food. This is not the mascara I wanted. This is all I could find. I was trying to show you what I got and then I panicked because someone came walked up right behind me. But what I was saying is, this is not the mascara I wanted. They didn't have, the one that I really love is the Maybelline Falsies, the Lash Lift. And I still have a little bit, but I can tell that it's starting to get empty. I'm having to like reapply it, like seven coats, what I normally only have to do, like one or two. I used to have this one. I don't remember. I know I liked it at one point. So I just felt like I needed to at least try it. I don't know why. So I did get that. Um, got makeup wipes, body wash, dry shampoo, toothpaste, toothbrush, dog food, and then the Starbucks at Target is open again. So, I had to make a little pit stop because I talked to, I called Justin on my way to Target and we were trying to figure out meal situations. And we're gonna do leftovers, but we don't have a ton. So I was like, let me grab something for like a quick little breakfast. So, grab the egg white, egg white bites got a refresher and now it is finally time to go home it is oh my goodness i'm not gonna get home till one o'clock okay we made it home and i immediately sat down and did my eyebrows because i thought of it and i knew if i didn't do it the second i thought of it i was probably gonna forget until it was too late and then we would have been screwed so eyebrows are done my skin is really just freaking out right now but Next up on the list, I'm going to be taking my virtual vitamins and I'm also going to pack some of these for the weekend to have every day while I'm there. And this video is sponsored by Ritual, but cheerleaders, you guys know competition weekends are some of the hardest weekends on your body. And it never fails that I come back home from a competition weekend and feel like the literal life is sucked out of my body. And I know that like, I'm not gonna be eating the best. I'm not gonna have like access to all of my nutrients throughout the weekend. So taking a simple little vitamin every day to kind of help fill those gaps super easy definitely goes a long way also they're minty and like low-key kind of not that like a vitamin can really like taste good but kind of does i love virtual because they take all of the guesswork out of vitamins if you're like me and you get to a vitamin aisle in a grocery store and you just feel so overwhelmed and you have no idea where to begin then virtual is for you because they take nine high quality nutrients from d3 to omega-3 and put them in just one simple vitamin that you can take every day they're vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and contain no added sugar. And even if you have the best diet in the world, there's still probably key nutrients missing. So that is where I just rely on Virtual and I know that I can trust them 100% because they're transparent with everything from where they source their ingredients and the environmental impact of materials they use. And they have a vitamin out there for basically everyone. So I take the Essential for Women 18 plus multivitamin, but they have a men's multivitamin, a 50 plus, a prenatal, a postnatal, kids and teen vitamin, and they also have an essential protein and symbiotic range now. It is such a simple step that you can just put into your daily routine just to help have an overall healthier lifestyle. And you can do that with a discount. So if you go to ritual.com slash Gabby-20, I'm gonna have everything on the screen. And again, everything's gonna be linked down below so you can just click it, but you can actually get 20% off your order. So make sure to check them out. I'm gonna have everything linked down below. And next up on the list is fixing all of this. I need to take like a the kind of shower. I need to shave my legs. Probably gonna do like my Olaplex purple shampoo so my hair just like looks fresh for the weekend. Hair mask, the whole nine yards. So we are going to get started on that because it is already two o'clock. I don't have to be at the gym till seven. So we're down to five hours. Within those five hours, I need to shower, edit two and a half videos, and pack. 
Can we do it? We have no other options, so we're gonna have to make it work. We are clean. It was a long shower, so set up my phone in the shower, watch some Vlogmas while we were at it, and I think I wanna do some under eye patches. Now, to be honest, I don't know what these do, but they feel good. So, they just make me feel, whenever I'm doing like, wait, is this one brand new? Whenever I feel like I'm doing some like self-carry things, this is always at the top of the list because they just feel so refreshing. Look at that, brand new pack. These are just the ones from Pixie, which they do have at Target. I did see them today, but I never know which way. Does the big part go under your eye? Or the other way around. I think it goes like, oh, it's so slimy. Like this, right? Or is that wrong? Now that seems like it'd be right, because you would want majority of it. Oh, it's kind of in my eyeball. I think I need to prioritize editing before I start packing, which I don't think packing is gonna take me that long. I have like assigned shirts I have to wear both days. And then I just need like extra outfits for in between travel outfits. And like, that's basically it. So it's not as stressful and hard as packing when I'm competing. Cause I feel like I need so many things. I feel like it's not gonna be that hard. The hardest part is finding out jeans to go with t-shirts. Cause I hate that look, but that's what I have to wear. So we will figure that out later. We'll Okay, got lots and lots of work done. I only have a little bit left for the entire day and feel pretty good about it. I think we're gonna be able to get it done hopefully all before the gym. If not, I only have to do a very, very little bit when I get home tonight. But I think I decided I'm flying Southwest. So I kind of have, my options are open of what kind of suitcase I wanna bring. But considering the flight is at 5 a.m., I don't think I even wanna worry about getting there early enough to check a bag. And I really don't think I need that much. I fly back on Sunday, which is so nice. Our awards are early enough, so I literally fly there Friday, have the competition Saturday, Sunday, fly back Sunday. That is amazing to me because no matter what scenario, I would always rather, even if I have to get home super, super late, I'd rather wake up in my own bed at the start of like a new week than to have to like travel the same day I have to go back to work. So that makes me feel very good. So I think I'm just gonna pack a carry-on. I didn't have time to make a packing list, so this is all kind of going to be off the top of my head. I do know that, let me check the itinerary to see what staff shirts we need to wear. I literally just had this up. Okay, so Saturday is the ACDC shirt and Sunday is 1994 or team shirt. So we'll see. You think I would know what team gifts LJ is getting tonight considering I am the coach, but I feel like I've seen so many and I don't exactly know which ones we're getting. Hold on, lighting is way better over here. I don't know why I don't always sit over here. Um, so I don't know if we're wearing, I'm gonna pack both of those options and then we'll figure it out tonight if I'm wearing some sort of like LJ team gift that we get or going with the normal staff shirt. So this is the Saturday staff shirt. This is like the ACDC inspired one. These are two of my favorite shirts. So at least that's a good thing. So I have that one. And then this is like the possible Sunday one, the 1994 one. The only thing is I'm probably gonna be freezing because I just always am. And convention centers are always cold. So I need to pack two of my best staff jacket, hoodie, sweatshirt things. This one is for sure like my best staff jacket because it's like our actual staff like warm up jacket. So definitely bringing that. And then I have this one which actually kind of cute. So maybe I'll wear that one of the days, even though that totally defeats the purpose of like wearing a staff shirt, but I already know I'm gonna be cold. And then this is the other one. I love this one. I was kind of planning on wearing this on the flight, but I don't know if I'm gonna wanna wear a hoodie instead, or if I'm gonna wanna save this for the comp. I think once I figure out my shoe situation, then I'll decide. So this is where I always get stuck. So we have to wear jeans with these t-shirts. I pretty much only have jeans that look good with cropped clothing. Obviously not appropriate for a cheerleading competition. 
So the jeans I wore at Showcase ended up being pretty good actually, and those are really cute sneaker jeans. So I could just wear those again, which I probably will. Let me go grab those. So these are the ones I ended up wearing. They're my Zara jeans and they go to like a wide leg. So they look really good with like normal sneakers, which that's the other thing is what sneakers am I wearing? That'll come next, I guess. But these aren't the comfiest jeans. Like they're not great sitting jeans, but they do the job and I actually don't have to be at the competition all day, which is amazing because LJ competes decently early and then uh, co -ed, TJLC and UFO are also going and they compete like somewhat soon-ish after, like I wanna say LJ competes at 12, they all compete by like five at the latest and then we have a team bonding. So like the team bonding's at our hotel so I'll totally change before then. So I don't think I have to be in the jeans that long. Now the only thing is with this shirt, I have no idea what sneakers to wear. I guess I could wear my blazers and I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. Um, I think I'm just gonna straighten my hair all weekend because it's just easiest, even though we just went through the debacle that I don't really like my hair straight anymore. But that just makes the most sense. Okay, next thing I need to pack. Oh, I need to go get everything that I got from Target before I forget to pack those. I'm gonna bring, okay, how many days am I there? Friday, I'll probably do makeup Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I'm gonna bring like a couple extra, probably like five makeup wipes. Okay, well I have six in my hand, so we're just gonna bring six, because I don't feel like trying to get that one out. Um, need to pack the new mascara, we'll test it out. Stay tuned how I like it. I think I'm getting a new makeup bag for Christmas from Justin, which I'm very excited about because this one has been through the ringer. <laughs> and it's like, listen, it's cute, but like, I'm not on double O anymore. So I think it's time to upgrade our makeup bag. Speaking of, I do have this, such cute. We got this as a showcase gift for LJ. What can I put in here? Maybe my toiletries? I think I might do that. Actually, that's so cute. I'm also bringing, I'm just going to bring this backpack as my personal item because it's huge. So I think I am going to end up having to bring my laptop just as a safety net, just in case I end up having to edit something. Or if I have downtime and can edit something, bringing my laptop, camera, megaphone. That should pretty much be the only thing in here. The rest I think I should be able to fit in my suitcase. Now, Comfy travel fit home. I don't care what I need to wear. Like, I don't have to wear Top Gun. Need to get a comfy... The flight's like 9 to 11 p.m., so... Okay, I think we figured it out. So, all of my, like, sweatshirts, jackets, staff crew neck for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. My staff shirts and two pairs of jeans. And then three pair of black leggings. Sweatpants for the way home. I have my travel outfit already over there and out this i think is going to bring i'm just going to bring one option honestly of outfits for well i guess that one could potentially be an outfit too if we go out to dinner but i think just honestly this with my zara jeans and my volts is just going to be a fit if we end up going out to dinner or something then potential saturday team bonding outfits i have this which is really comfy and it's definitely going to be like chilly for what i'm used to it's not like that cold in atlanta it's definitely like 50s 60s but it's cold compared to what i'm used to so this kind of sweatshirt or i'm gonna have um this crew neck what am i saying this tank top with a flannel both with leggings most likely okay i really think we did it she's kind of bursting at the seams but oh yeah we're gonna have to sit on her to get her closed um we do have the extender though but Sometimes I feel like that makes it hard to fit in the overhead bin and I don't want to have to struggle. Oh, she's going, we're good. Probably gonna have to pack one or two more things after tonight's practice. Also decided I might switch out the volts for dunks, but that'll be a last minute decision. Either later tonight, I'll ask Justin what he thinks because he's just better with like sneaker style and outfits and stuff. And then we just have to finish packing my backpack and then we'll be ready to go. I need to leave for the gym in like five minutes. So I need to get ready. However, the staff shirt for today, I had to pack because 
I that's one of the shirts that we're wearing over the weekend. So I'm definitely not going to wear that today. Okay, this is what we went with. I have another pair of Nike sweatpants on that are like a lot more baggy and comfy. Honestly, probably would have been a better option to pack these ones and wear the other ones today. But that's too late. So we're just going comfy and big and um, I don't know if I'm going to vlog at the gym or not. We'll see. I'm sure there'll probably be some footage because we're doing like a big show off of like performances tonight since we're all going to competition. So I'm sure there'll be some footage, but I need to go. Practice was so good. Made it home. Got some team gifts to show off. Ooh. Haven't even opened half of them. So, if you don't know, it's technically out there because we announced it at Showcase, but LJ's theme this year is fashion. So, look at how cool. It's like the LV print, but LJ. It's so cute. So, we got this little cute little hoodie for the weekend. And then, I didn't know, open this yet, but it's one of those really big, like, water cups. It was packaged up. But it is so nice, so sleek. It's huge. So that is that. And then I also got a pair of white sweatpants to match the hoodie. And Justin already stole them because they are definitely way too big for me. And they fit him and he wants them, so also got that but practice was so good i am so excited for this weekend with them <laughs> i just walked right through my legs but i have to be up for the airport in six hours so actually i have to be up before six hours i have to be at the airport basically in six hours i am going to shower eat pack the rest of my backpack which now that i have everything I, I'm going to try to squeeze this in my suitcase, but I'm going to put my megaphone, camera, laptop in my backpack, and I think that should be good, so I hope that's everything. I'm going to like actually try to sit and think and make sure I'm not forgetting anything, but I really don't think, like I'm not an athlete. I, I don't have any of that stuff that I need. I just kind of need clothes all weekend.
I got sidetracked and never ended up finishing this video because I was like so focused on making sure I have everything. So we're ending it now as I'm editing it. Make sure to check out Ritual. Again, everything is linked down below. Give this video a big like, comment down below, subscribe to your post notifications on, all that. And I will see you in the next video. I'm in, I'm in.